also had, the ministry also had a stakeholders engagement on monetization of politics in Ghana. Political parties and national stakeholders consultation we had. The ministry engaged the primary stakeholders to address this potentially democracy derailing phenomenon. The program was organized on Thursday, the 30th of May, 2019, with four political parties who have consistently performed creditably in presidential and parliamentary elections since the inception of the Fourth Republic. The level of monetization of elections and politics in Ghana, we must all admit, is unsustainable. The meeting discussed, among other things, one, the inadequacies of the existing modes of conducting primaries by the political parties. Because let's face it, there's nowhere in the established democracies where at the end of a tenure of one parliament, the process of choosing parliamentary candidates is reduced to an all-commerce game, which people from within the country and from without the country descend on constituencies and say to the electorate, we are ready to remove the incumbent member of parliament and introduce ourselves. And when you ask some of them, oh, there's no development, oftentimes as they refrain, there's no development in the constituency. I want to be there, the representative of the constituents, and sh to ensure democracy, uh, to ensure development. I remember one lady that I encountered some time ago said to us that, oh, uh, his cons her constituency is, uh, is a poor constituency. The people could not, the parents could not afford to buy school uniforms for them. So if he was, she was elected, the member of parliament, she was going to um, um, supply school uniforms to all the primary school um, children in her constituency. Is that the function of a member of parliament? And yet, she was so passionate about that. So going forward, I believe that we need to come together to really provide the, uh, the roadmap to ensuring that as a country and as political parties, we conduct primaries that would select appropriate persons to represent the constituencies and represent the institution of parliament and then be able to perform the functions so defined by the constitution as the functions of members of parliament.